What's good, everybody? I'm going to just start off and say that this is not a sponsored video by JetBrains. I am not even in a position to get sponsored by anybody. I just want to tell you guys how much I am in love with the IDE JetBrains Rider for Unreal Engine. And I cannot explain how much time and pain and misery that this IDE has saved me. And I'm not down to none of the other ones because I've used them all. Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio Community, Visual Studio Community with Visual Assist. And I'm just letting you know that they're not up to par with what JetBrains is doing here with Rider for Wood. And this is still in preview. I just got an update today. It's still in preview. So they're not even done. They still got features to add. They still got performance optimizations to make. And it's, it's a beautiful thing already. I'm going to just get right into it. Okay, so first of all, look at the UI. Look at the layout of this. Like, it's just, a, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at all this space you can create to just get in there and code. You know what I mean? Like, that off of the bat rings me in. You got some nice buttons up here. I'm moving my face out the way. You got nice buttons up here automatically synced with GitHub. It's beautiful. Another thing that I really love and and this is something that i used to hate dealing with man like you got to create a class in unreal engine and then you got to wait for that class to compile before you can even start coding or doing anything with it and it takes anywhere from 3 to 5 minutes just to create a class in unreal from c++ and it that really scares developers away from uh, creating in C++, which is one of the best ways to create games when it comes to speed and optimization. But let's just let's just use Rider and show show you guys how this works. All right, now say I wanted to create, um, and we're gonna do it the we're gonna do it the way that Unreal really suffers when you create a class in Unreal, uh, and I'll start with it. I'll start with it creating that class of unreal we'll sit here and this is not going to be edited i'm doing this video raw this raw no rubber um you see that took not too long to load up T took nine seconds to load up okay let's do it let's do it let's do it let's uh let's create a new c plus plus class what kind of class we're just going to create an actor class we're going to call it um uh, this my uh this my my chopper this is my chopper weapon and we're gonna put it in its own folder called weapons you know what I'm saying and we just gonna create that class see what happens watch watch what happens when it, bring out your stopwatches and your clocks my computer is not a bad computer either I got an i7 9700 I think and look instantly we run into an issue Right now, as a new developer, this will scare you away. Like, what the fuck? I, I just created a class. How do I already got issues? Something in Unreal does. I don't know what it is, but if you look at the log right here, it tells you that it could not open the include file weapon slash chopper weapon dot h. No such file or directory. So if I go into Rider, you can see. The flood, the directory is right there. The directory is right there. You can see it, right? But if you go to the C++ file, you get a little red. Um, well, it doesn't show red, but you see right here, if you go ahead and get rid of that and just include chop a weapon, and say I go build it again. Oh, uh, let me do it from Unreal so I don't have to recompile the entire thing. Okay, now you see it compiles perfectly but for somebody that's not trying to that's not advanced and not trying to google all these solutions and try to figure out the problem you're like why, why is this happening and, and the reason i know that is because i've taken courses that they show you how to build your c++ classes in unreal and this is one of the things you run into in unreal and um another big thing and this is, I'm, I'm going through this because I want to show you all the features that Rider has, like that blows programming out of the water. So you, you don't want this, right? You don't want this weapons folder or this, 
or these two class files, right? So what you would have to do is go into your directory, go all the way to your project, and you can go into your source. What you have to do is go to weapons, delete this, right? You have to come back out here. You got to delete the save, intermediate, derived cache, binaries, and the solution file. And then you got to right click, generate Visual Studio Project Files again. And then you go into that Visual Studio Project File. And then you go ahead and build your project and you've deleted that class. That's a lot of fucking work to delete a class. Like, I just want to delete a class like I do in, in Unity. Like, you just delete it. And if you got any references to it, you go fix the references. Rider makes it so much easier. I'm going to just go here, edit, delete, you feel me? Delete, you know what I'm saying? It's gone. It's not there no more. I don't got to worry about doing all that shh that I had to do. I go ahead and compile. Again, it's going to take a little minute because it's got to clear up. It's going to do all those things for me. Okay, it, it only took what? It only took what? Shit, seven seconds. And you see, we're good. We didn't have to do all that. We didn't have to do all that. Like, uh, we probably have to restart the engine so that this stuff is not in here. So we could do that real fast. We just go ahead and close this out. And the best way would have been to stop and rerun and compile directly from Rider. So, uh, th that's the best way to do these things is to stop, rerun, and compile. If you change any source files, you want to just recompile from source you know what I'm saying it makes it that much easier now you see we don't have those folders anymore didn't have to do all that work didn't have to do none of that stuff let's go ahead and stop that and show you guys um, how to do this in Rider strictly from Rider you don't gotta deal with uh, the header files not being included correctly you don't have to deal with any of that stuff so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna add a directory we're gonna call it uh, Oh, what do we call it? Weapons? Uh, we go into weapons. We want to add a new class. Oh my god, they have... You can add an Unreal class right here. I don't even got Unreal open right now. I can add an Unreal class right here. So, I call that my chopper. It was an actor class. Right? It tells you, recently created C++ class will be available in Unreal Editor only after building the project. And it gives you a button, a hyperlink, right here to build the project. But, you can go in and say you want to add some new properties. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's make some, some things happen. We want to make an edit anywhere. Um, we want to make a float. You know what I'm saying? I just... Um, the seed of the fire rate, something that a weapon would have, and we give it a base. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A base. Let's just call it 1.0. Give it a base value. Make another one. Make another U property. We have edit anywhere. Make it an into into 32. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, what is this? The ammo count. And it starts off with a 500 bullet. You know what I'm saying? And we can get in and we can start coding on uh, directly on that file before we even have to compile the engine again. So we can start making we, all those ideas that are fresh on your head that you need. You can get right into it. You don't, you don't have to wait for Unreal to compile the file, then go into the C, uh, go into the C++ file, then add stuff. Because you might pull your phone out, get on Instagram, start fucking looking at bad you know what I'm saying? You know what I was about to say. And that'll mess everything up for you. Lose your train of thought. But we're just going to go ahead build the project. Go ahead build it. See how long this one takes. 6.25 seconds. Now, this is going to, you know what I'm saying? It's going to queue up Unreal Engine for you. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I have built the project. I didn't run the project. Uh, I was like, what the? Uh, I, did I look like an idiot right there? Like, like I said, we doing this raw, baby. No rubber. Did I look like an idiot right there? Uh, but yeah, we there. We there. We got our folder. We got our chopper. And we can go ahead and create a blueprint. 
we can create a blueprint <clears throat> excuse me we can create a, a blueprint class of that underneath and we put it in that the blueprints folder actors and boom you know what i'm saying we got our we got our and what is that our you properties are right there set up man it's a beautiful morning you know what i'm saying it's definitely the afternoon but I, i'm quoting the song and that's how that goes and say you didn't want that in your project because i'm not gonna keep this in my project we we'll go ahead and we just you know cut that out of there delete that we don't need that and that's a, that kind of workflow makes it to where c plus plus and coding in source is not so daunting it's something that they're doing that's special with JetBrains. and like i said in the beginning this is still in preview so I can't wait to see what features they add. Um, another big one, man. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if you guys know anything about live templates. And don't get me wrong. Visual Studio uh, community has live templates. But it's just not. Like I said, things are not the same, right? Like, and so if I go in here, I can make a C++ live template. And I got my own right now. If I go, this, this is one I made. It, now... You do this so much in C++ because you want to check for null, uh, null pointers. So I made my own uh, live template where if I type in IFR, it'll set me up to, to do my own null pointer check. And you know how I did this? I copied this if statement, right? I, I, I made a copy, cloned and edited it. I set it up in the format that I wanted it to be for for it to look inside the code uh, and it has these little short handles that you use that it will look for these for to fill in information so if I go into my C++ let's just say I got one right here we're just gonna retype this one if I type in IFR right it brings that in and what I'm gonna check is if I don't have a game mode I just want to return out of this code I don't even want to run this and that was fast. Like you don't have to type in if uh, no game mode. Then you gotta go down here, get yourself back to this place, and then type in return. Like that took way longer than just typing no game mode. I already have return right there because I know that's what I want to do. Live templates will save you so much time in coding. Uh, I, I'm still getting my library of live templates up. I'm still waiting to increase my C++ skills to see what I'm going to do more and more of. Then I create more live templates. But that's one. Th this is one thing that you do nonstop inside C++. Um, yeah. Uh, what other What other features did I want to go over? I didn't write this down. Like I said, I'm doing this raw, no rubble. You guys like my new glasses? I got that blue light on the glasses, man. I can sit here and stare at this computer for that. I could put this on light and it won't bother me. It probably will bother me, but I'm just saying, like, that's how good these glasses is. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I think that's it. Yeah, you can you can create a class directly here. Oh, I know you guys probably seen like, okay. Damn, Greg, why is there no Class, why is there no game mode class? Why is there no da 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 class? You know what I'm saying? So what they did here is they they thought smart. Why would we give you a long list of all of the classes and subclasses that Unreal has created when you, as a programmer, should have some form of knowledge of the of the base class that that class derives from? So if I were to create a game mode, right? And let's just look at the game modes. We go to the game mode header, we can see it's got this A in the front. That means it's an actor class. So I could go create, add, Unreal, actor class, right? And I just call this my free, my free, free for all game mode. And that's probably too many. It's called FFA game mode, right? And we see it comes in like this. But you can just derive it from a game mode. And you see that? Oh, you didn't see that. It was so fast. But say, uh, okay, let me delete. Let me delete this. Right? Let me delete this. 
you see this right here? This is their this is their uh, inspector that that happens, and this is why uh, Ryder sometimes runs a little heavy because it's inspecting your code and look for places to help you out and save you time. So it's telling me right now that I don't have the include to to base this class off of the A game mode uh, base class, and normally you would have to. Google a game mode, find the hash include on the documentation in Unreal, and copy and paste it in there. That's that's three steps. Let me show you how fast this is. So I'm gonna press Alt Enter, like it says Alt Enter to apply or escape to cancel. It'll tell me what it's about to do. Look at that. Boom. It included the header for me. So if you know the class that you're looking for, you don't have to think about the header. And, and another thing, if, if you for declare a class, you can, like, let's say I want to use static mesh component. Uh, let's look for something that's the, uh, that needs to be for declared. So you can see some some don't need to be for declared because they're part of core minimal now. But some need to be uh, for declared. And this will save you some time too. So say you did that, right? It'll include the header for you. Then you can just type the class in front of it. And you can go ahead, take this, cut it, and bring it to your, uh, press Alt-O to go to your CPP file. And you can just paste it right here. That way you don't have to, to uh, do the Alt-Enter. So when you forward declare your classes, bring the class in regular, let it include all the headers, and then you just move the headers over to the C++ class. That way when you start typing in and, and, and working with your arrow operators, you don't have to... Uh, do all enter on the periods because sometimes it'll give you uh, those errors on the periods when you don't have the include it won't do the, the dot operator because you're pointing to something that's incomplete um, but yeah let's uh, let's go ahead you know what I'm saying let me bring y'all let's show you this let's show y'all this magic again delete that we don't need that we'll delete this because we don't need that and um, we'll go ahead and build the project just to show that you can remove this source file removed. It makes another make file. Does all the binary cleanup for you. It's a beautiful thing, man. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by JetBrains in any way. They under investigation of the FBI. I don't want to be, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they guilty, maybe they not. I hope they not guilty because I really love this product and I don't want anything to happen to that company because they are doing some things for uh, programmers that no other company is doing like I give it to uh, Microsoft Visual Studio I love I love what they've created but these dudes have taken that formula and and expanded upon it and made it easier for us to get into programming if I would have two years ago when I was in the military uh, uh, three years ago when I was in the military I would have never thought that I would be programming today you know what I'm saying and, Programs like this have made it easier. Uh, teachings like uh, game dev, uh, TV, uh, all their courses have made it easier. Uh, all this knowledge is, is so much more accessible than when I was in high school. And I'm excited for the future, man. I know 2020 was bad. I know 2021 is not starting off good. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm excited for the future. Elon Musk is the richest man in the world. You know what I'm saying? It, $185 billion. Technology. And software engineering and great marketing, things like that excite me, man. The future is bright. Don't be so grim. Don't think the world is gonna end. Stop thinking like that because you ain't got shit going for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself a hobby and turn it into something that could possibly make you rich, man. And programming is mine. Uh, game development is is mine. And this is something I'm not trying to get rich off of. I'm just trying to feed my family and enjoy what I'm doing. I enjoy what I do. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't make I don't make no money for this shit. I enjoy it. Uh, so that's that's my video for today. I know I haven't made a video in a while. It's probably been a month since I uploaded. I've just been working. I've just been learning. Uh, just been growing. I got a few uh few toys coming in next week to 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 help my process out. Uh, Man, I, this year is just going to be big. I'm going to try to give you guys more content. Uh, this video is probably running long as hell. Uh, if you even made it to this point, I appreciate you uh, for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, share. Uh, I know my language is probably not the best, 
But hey, man, sailor's mouth. You feel me? Sailor's mouth. Uh, and we out of here.